Hey guys, in this video, I will show you some tools I use uh, for my robot project, uh, the flashlight. I was using this one, this from the Costco is very large one, but sometimes you have to hold this one. So you have to use one hand to hold this one if you're trying to find some school or something. Um, and it's very bright. I like it very bright, but I think it's too bright. So recently I find another one. I find this one. This one is the uh, workers. Uh, it's this about uh, uh, five sound lumens, but this one only like a uh, uh, three sound uh, uh, two hundred uh, lumens. I think it's pretty much uh, enough for uh, most of my project. So but this one is uh, more uh, smaller, so it's easy to hold this one. Uh, not like this one, you need the, it's very difficult to hold this one. And this one is very uh, good for the uh, outside work. And for the indoor work, I think this is the best one. So let me show you what it inside. I have not yet opened it. Let me show you what it inside of it, okay? Okay, let's uh, uh, open it. So it's, uh, it's packed very well. It's a brand new one. Okay, let's open it. So, <coughs> wait. <laughs> okay, this is the uh, flashlight. So, this looks very good. Okay, here is the uh, switcher. It can turn on or turn off. Okay, this one is the uh, uh, Charger port is a uh, type C USB type C charge. Okay, say so, okay. Here is a manual. It's a uh, HD02. This is a USB cable, just uh, some uh, regular USB cable. Okay, so it looks good. Yeah, some strings. Okay, let's put this away. Okay. Now, you, I don't think you can uh, turn it on. You have to um, open this one. Remove a red paper over here. So you need to remove this one. After you remove this one, now you could uh, You could uh, turn it on. See, it's working. It's still very bright. Okay. I will uh, do some try and uh, show you some more uh, feature for this uh, uh, flashlight. Okay, this is pretty much all the uh, unbox. Okay, I did more tests for this flashlight. I used this one for two days. So there's something I really like. Uh, let me show you how to turn it on. So as a regular um, flashlight, you just uh, one click this one, it will turn it on. Okay, so it's not very bright but if you want to change the brightness just double click this one you will see it's much more bright okay so if you want to uh, close that one just one click uh, it's well back to the original one just click again it will shut down uh, this is for the uh, regular um, uh, flashlight i also did some test outside it looks very good uh, for this one, for this, uh, this is uh, uh, UV. So if you turn it over here, it's where it will run the UV. I use this one to care my uh, 3D print uh, object. This one is uh, a UV come from the UV printer. So I use this one to care this one. Uh, it's very useful. Uh, another one mm, I want to show you is the. Uh, green uh, laser. This one is a green laser. I don't use this a lot, but uh, I think kids like this one. Like my son, uh, he likes this one. 
Yeah. Uh, let's show you another feature. Uh, if you want to flash, so you just uh, uh, triple click uh, this one. So it will do something like this. Okay, it's back to normal. Uh, so double click is change the bright to the brightest one. Uh, triple click is flash. Okay, uh, I will show you some uh, feature I really like. This feature I really like. This is a uh, win. That's, uh, so it seems that I use this, but uh, actually for my project is very useful. So if you uh, double click this one, it will uh, change the bright. It will go to the uh, most bright one. So I put it over here, so I could put uh, my device under it. So I don't need to use another head to hold this one. So I can see the uh, part very clearly. I can change something, I can move some part. This is very useful. Originally, I, if I use this guy, this guy, I have to have uh, one hand to hold this one. And this is it's, it's too bright. Too bright, that means uh, it's get, it will get very hot very quickly. So I believe this could uh, replace my old uh, flashlight because it's uh, it's much easier to um, place over here and find what I, I need and find the part I need and change the parts, replace the part. This one is very uh, useful. And if you close this one, so it will automatically close. You don't need to care about, oh, it's make it, uh, it if you forgot to uh, turn it off, it will get very hard. You don't need to care about that. It will automatically uh, shut down. So I like this feature very much. Um, another one is this click. This click, I uh, when we go to the attic, I already have a lot of stuff need to carry, like the cable, the uh, the cable, some uh, wrench, some uh, drive, uh, some uh, screwdriver or something. Yeah, uh, a lot of stuff I need to carry on. But this one, I could use this one to attach to my bell, so which is very uh, useful. And even more, I could just uh, put this to my uh, to my pocket. It's very easy to carry this, uh, so I don't need to uh, take this one to the attic. It's not easy to to carry. Yeah, I think that is uh, some uh, very nice feature. I would recommend. Uh, I also did some test in the outdoor, which also looks uh, uh, very good. I will um, here is some uh, video I did in the uh, outside outdoor. Okay, another one I need to mention is a uh, uh, magnet. For this one, it's a very strong magnet. So you could uh, mm, attach this to the uh, to the uh, metal uh, very easily. Let me show you, I attach this one to the monitor mount, uh, mountain. I have a monitor mountain over here. Let me show you over here. So let's attach to over here. So you can see it's very easy to attach to there. Yeah, it's very strong. Okay, yeah. So overall, this one is a very good uh, uh, flashlight for the uh, maker. If they have some project like I have for the uh, robots, a lot of PCB board work. So this is very useful, okay? Thank you for watching this video. Bye.